It is 645. Welcome back. Today is World Autism Awareness Day. In effort to address misconceptions about autism and to break barriers when it comes to access and resources. That includes speech therapy and social learning. But the earlier kids with autism get that support, the better. Our 7 News reporter Adam Campos here with us this morning telling us about the importance of early intervention, Adam. Hey, good morning, Ed and Katie. That's right. Today I'm sharing the voice of two people who are closely connected with the autism world, the early autism program coordinator at the Summit Center and a family who went through the program and saw the impact of early intervention. Cooper is just such a, a joy to be around. He's a funny guy. He's so smart and he's got such a big personality. And five-year-old Cooper's personality shines in the classroom here at the Summit Center in Getzville. He loves his tunes and he loves his geography. What's a state that started the Alabama. But his personality is a full 180 from how he acted before his autism diagnosis at just under two years old. So we had started noticing that he, he didn't really have any words, um, wasn't making eye contact with us the way our daughter did or any of the other kids that we had really interacted with. In 2022, the CDC reported an estimated 1 in 54 children in the U.S. were diagnosed with autism, and boys like Cooper are four times more likely to be diagnosed than girls. Immediately after his diagnosis, Cooper began an early intervention program that included speech therapy, social, and play skills. Early intervention is critical. Stacy Chambers is the early autism program coordinator at the Summit Center. She works closely with children with autism and says early intervention can have a trickle-down effect on a child's development. So if students have the opportunities to begin instruction in early intervention before they even go to preschool, that can impact the placements that are available to them in preschool, which could then in turn impact the placements that are available for them in kindergarten. The American Academy of Pediatrics recommends all children 18 months to 24 months go through testing, even if they're not showing signs of autism. Chambers says the actions of parents have a great impact on a child's development. We find that the more parent involvement we can have with these very young learners, uh, the more progress we're able to see across their uh, development. Molly says for parents going through the diagnosis like her family did, it's all about celebrating the good, one win at a time, no matter how big or how small. So it's just the little things that you have to focus on what your wins are and focusing on meeting them where they're at. And there's still so many opportunities and they still have a long way to go and there's still so much to learn and experience with them. So if you'd like to learn more about the early intervention programs at the Summit Center, you can find those resources at WKBW.com. Ed and Katie. So sweet. Adam, thank you.